We are running Jeopardy back today. The boys are at their podiums, and we made some improvements to the game today. Millie, I see the podiums. I see us wearing some nice suits. But what are these improvements you're talking about? Here are the categories for today's Jeopardy. For the 100 to 300 questions, it's staying the same. But for the 400 level questions, we're scrapping the originals and we're putting brand new mini game questions. If you get them right, you get the points. Boys, are we ready to go? Millie did win last time, but Pala came in second place. So he'll begin this round. Let's get into it. Pala, pick your first category. This is rigged. Pala, Pala always starts. So if I always win and I always start, doesn't that make sense though? Maybe you should let the little guys win sometimes, you know? Yeah. What do you mean by little the guys? Truly the little guys. I'm the tallest here, though. I'm six foot three. It just so happens that okay, I'm okay. like six foot seven. Bubba, you, your, your Yappuccino's coming. Be careful. But I'm going to take Euro 200 to start it off. Ooh. Pala, here's Euro's 200. This English wonder kid became the youngest ever player in the Euros versus Croatia during the Euro 2020 tournament. I could probably name you the majority of the starting lineup, but... Okay. I think I'm overthinking this. This is a 200 level question. I'm not going to give you any is hints this, uh, is this Is this Jude Bellingham? Pala, Jude Bellingham is correct. You get 200 points. Pick the next category. That was kind of too obvious. Like I'm thinking, who's the other young players? It could have been Phil Foden. Phil Foden was also... But Phil Foden was always... Like, I've always known he's... Yeah, that's, that's what yeah, I thought. Yeah. No, Bellingham is definitely the answer. Colby Maynard going to be next one up, though. Oh, yeah. brother. <laughs> I got my 200 schmackaroonies right here. Put them in the pocket. Gonna go right there. And for my second question, I'm gonna pick 200 off the pitch. Not the right choice. What does that mean, off the pitch? For this category, it's about what the players do off the pitch, not on the pitch. Pala, here's off the pitch for 200. This player musician released songs such as No Love, Fall Back, and Heavy Stepper while playing in Spain. Heavy Stepper. He's a heavy While stepper. playing in Spain. <laughs> while playing oh, in Spain. What was the first song? No love. No love. This no guy got love. bangers or what? No love. That's his number one song too. Really? No love from his coach. <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's, I'm not gonna, no, I'm not gonna name any other singers because it might be other questions. True. But he played in Spain and this guy has released songs and he looks like he's overly deep for no reason. Okay. Has a whole lion on his back. Is this Memphis Depay? Uh, you need to ask to say the answer in the form of a question. Oh, oh brother. brother, Jeopardy police is here. Oh. Wee -wee -wee. Well, technically, here. that's wrong. <laughs> Buy yourself something nice, get out of here, brother. <laughs> Bro's bribing you. Okay, who is Memphis Depay? Memphis Depay is the correct answer, pal. Another 200 in the bank. Pick the next category. Our song's even good. You guys ever um, listen to them? I feel like it's decent. If he's released more, more than one. <laughs> Who's Brother. listening to these people? These, these players who release songs, who's listening to them? I might have to go listen. I mean, okay. Firm's listening to that Leal pack. Leal has actually good music. Wait yeah, till the Moise yeah. Keen Leal song, Bro, the collab. The link up might be uh, generational. <laughs> and they say that the Italian rivalries are still there. All right, Paula, pick your next category. You're sweeping the 200s, Paula. I was recently on. listening to a, uh, I was recently listening to an interview with uh, Vladimir Putin. Okay. So I feel like, and he told me the whole history about Russia. So I'm feeling knowledgeable in that area. So I'm going to go with Brazilians and Russia for 300. Oof. <laughs> that does not sound good. Okie dokie, artichoke. <laughs> Pala, here's Brazilians playing in Russia for 300. This Brazilian laced up for FC Anzi Malakala in 2011 alongside Samuel Eto. Bro just casted a spell. Bro, I, I know have no this idea answer. if I said that right either. This is not a 300 milli. You don't I, think? No, Easier don't or harder? E well, for me, for me, it's easy. So what's the answer? I'm oh. going to wait. Yeah. Is there an opportunity to steal here? Milli. Can you restate the question? I'll say the first part of the, the team because it's much easier. Anzi uh, Maka, Maka, Maka Chakala. Or yeah, whatever. Maka Chakala. I don't care. What, so this guy played at this, this club? Yeah. Yeah, in 2011. Little known fact about oh, Anzi Maka Chakala is that they were run by the mob and as soon as like they got infiltrated, like down to like the fourth division now. Yeah, uh, guy's the Anzi ambassador. <laughs> were you part of it? Because they were actually a top Russian team while the mob was controlling them. They were spending dough. They were yeah. spending some big A lot dough. of money. They knew what they were doing. They but were like the Saudis before being Saudi was cool. You know? They were using the flour <laughs> to make the dough. Yeah. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Paolo, what are we thinking here? Millie, I have no idea. And since I already got 400 schmackaroonies in my pocket, I'll just throw a random. Wait, if I throw an answer, do I lose yes. money? You but you lose money you either, lose way. either way. Okay. So you might as well give an answer. Okay. And answer in the form of a question. Okay, boss. Uh, I'm going to go with 
I think he was too young at that time. Who is Willian? Oh. It was not Willian, unfortunately, Pala. Firms, you could steal this one. What if I don't steal it? Okay, wait, wait, you pause. Can it was Willian. No. Bro, Willian played at Anzi Makachak with Eto. Not so in 2011. Think make about sure. 2011. Ooh. Make sure, make sure, make think sure. Of, no, no, but at the, this play, it's specifically 2011. I, no, I know, but if Willian was there, then my answer is right. He wasn't at Anzi Makachakala. Promise you that. Wow. That, this is actually a tough question then. Not, listen, you guys could just let it go. Yeah, we could so, just defer and then we don't lose points. So if I would have said any other answer, Varvar would have taken it and said yeah, Willian and, and got it wrong. Yeah. 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 That's tough. But now it's only me. And your money. So boys, what are we thinking here? Are we going to let it go? Or is someone going to try to answer this one? I'm going to have to defer this, Millie. Uh, I, got, I don't even got a guess. I'm going to defer also, but my guess, and I think me and Firms also have the same guess. We would have said Alexander Pato. Yeah, I'm not sure. Because the timeline matches, but... Boys, I'm not going to lie. This one was a tricky one, but it was Roberto Carlos. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, I should now have actually makes know sense. that. Now that makes sense. I it saw makes this picture. sense I, because... Like, it's the picture it's the that picture. I saw. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know where I got William from because the picture was <laughs> Eto and, uh, and Roberto Carlos. Roberto Carlos. And it makes sense, like interlegends. Anyways, Firms, you're up next. You get to pick the next category. Whoever picks a hundred says, says something about you. Your mom's a hoe. That's exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> Your mom's a hoe. Your mom's a hoe. Gets off by the. If any of our mafia. mothers, if any of our mothers are watching this, that was not concerning. That was not mom. I love you. <laughs> Mama, I love you. Mama. Boys, I'm gonna start it easy here. So Millie, give me a hundred euro. Oh, hundreds. This guy's going for the easy wins. Strategy. He's a bitch. <laughs> Making a cut. <laughs> That's definitely making a cut. <laughs> I'm just gonna add the fucking <laughs> thing over your mouth and he's then we're a good. Beep. <laughs> he's, he's a pussy ass bitch. He's a <laughs> beep. That's making the cut, bro. You just hear beep. <laughs> That's making the cut, bro. What up? Beep. Firms, here's Euros for 100. This is the stadium which Italy defeated England to win their second Euro championship. Good memories, guys. Both. These are just very your, good. Your firm. Just take a whole hundred. That's just the You're going to give me your money. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm going to take another one from over here. Millie, what is Wembley? Firms, that hundo going straight into your pocket. Wembley is correct. And those are great who memories. Who is Wembley? Who is Wembley? <laughs> we should. Who is Wembley? Not what is, is Wembley. What? Who is Wembley? <laughs> nice guy. I met him back in 82. Yeah. I played Most overrated football. stadium or what? Nah, it's a nice stadium. Man. I don't know. I've never been, so I can't even say if it's overrated or not. But <laughs> one day. It just sounds overrated, you know? Yeah. One day. Firms, you get to pick the next category. Millie, for my second one, I'm going to keep it up and hammer the Euro section. So give me Euro 300. And I mean, that activates the mini yeah, game. Yeah, that means know? we got a mini game. First mini game of the episode. All right, Firms, Euros for 300. This nation made its first appearance in Euro 2016, reaching the quarterfinals. Oh my God. Taking it back. It's too easy. Yeah, but it might not make it to you. Wasn't mm -hmm. the issue. Was it the quarterfinals? I, I got an answer, oh, he but... He said semifinals, no? He said quarterfinals. No, he said he, he said they won the tournament. Yeah, actually, they, they're two-time Euro champions now. <laughs> Quarter finalists. I'm, I'm going to take this. Go, take it. Who is Iceland? Firms, Iceland is correct. You get 300 schmackaroonies. I, didn't, I did not remember they got to the quarterfinals. Millie I'm, is giving out yeah. easy 300s. And I got... And mine was, I guess, relatively easy, but... I don't know. There, that's how many hey, hey. Easy. Think of another country that was eligible for Wales. that question. That's Wales. Thing. I was debating no. on Wales. All right. For this mini game, we are playing lies. The boys are going to have to bid to see how many of that specific thing they could name. Millie, give us the topic. Who can name the most strikers that have played in the Euros? Twelve. Twelve? twelve? <laughs> I mean, come who said on. Twelve? Play strikers who have played in the Euros? Question. How many seconds does he have? 30. 30, no? 30 seconds. Easy. So one of <laughs> Give me this right now, I swear. You have to name 12 strikers that played in the Euros. Deal. At any point in time. Deal. So 13. Oh. 14. Oh. I think these guys are digging themselves a grave. How much is this worth? This is 400 smash. 400 points. points. You can lose 400. <laughs> Don't worry. Do you realize I can just name, I can probably name like... 15 Italian strikers who have played. So bid against, then he, he's winning. Firms is winning. No, he's winning now. At uh, what? 15? 14? Yeah, 15. 14. 15 looks pretty steep. Actually, no, you have to bid because I said 12, you said 13, I said 14. So now you have to say 15. What do I got to say? Firms, are you going to be bidding 15? Paolo Paolo could bid 15 too. Paolo's not good under the, <laughs> under the pressure of 30 seconds. I'm trying to think because 
there's a lot of strikers, but well, they in come 30 to your head in 30 yeah, seconds. That's, that's the, the problem. Like in 30 seconds, that's a strike. And you can also name wrong ones, but after that, you just bar review it. Yeah, but then you have to guarantee that you've said. Yeah, but I can 14. say like 17 and then it's like two a rapid them. fire. I, I want to see if this. you have time to do that ta tactical in your head. Good for you, man. Okay. But I want to see Vavra doing this. Okay. He looks confident. I'll let him take it. Okay. So it's at 14. Sounds good. Varvar, you have to name 14 strikers that played in the Euros in 30 seconds. Your timer starts now. Bellotti, Immobile, Raspadori, uh, CR7, Eder, Giroud. Uh, oh. Benzema has definitely played one. Uh, Totti has definitely played one. Uh, Luca Toni has definitely played one. Um, which other ones? Harry Kane, Callum Wilson. Um, oh, he's struggling. He's Kiefer strong. Moore. Who? Um, three, two. Robbie Keane. One. I was on 13. 13. Come on. Unfortunately, Varvar, you did not hit the 14 you needed. That is minus 400 points for you, unfortunately. That was a very good effort, I have to say. Yeah. Shows that although you're a Prem head, you know a lot about Italian. I <laughs> just started ringing off. But Totti as a striker? Totti's yeah. a striker, yeah. Yeah, he counts. Cam, CF. 100% he counts. I, I didn't even name I, I didn't even name any Spanish strikers or German yeah. strikers. But the brother wanted to name 17 and maybe you have two wrong. <laughs> That's all I heard. <laughs> Unfortunately, Varvar, you got it wrong. Firms, you get to make the next category. I'm going to step up the difficulty here. So Mili gave me Madrid 400. Did he just say step up the difficulty when we just did a 400 and he took a 300? That's stepping down the difficulty. Let me think Firms always that. takes the easy way out. Firms, here's Madrid for 300. Known as the Galacticos era from 2000 to 2006, who was the most expensive Galactico in that era? Yeah, there's two Galacticos eras. Technically, yeah. I didn't like, in my mind, it's the recent one and spanning to the first one, but there's a big gap in time. Yeah. Like Akai's second Galacticos, I think. Yeah, 2008, I think he joined. Yeah, the exactly. He's the beginning of the second Galacticos era. So why don't we just call them the Galacticos era? Because <laughs> Madrid fell off in 07, I guess. <laughs> Brothers got two Galacticos era. When Messi, when Messi passed the age of 17. That's where he's the goal. Firms, what's the thought process here? I'm trying to think of the Ballon d'Or winners, because Real Madrid always tends to buy those. True. And the most expensive players are usually those, so... My answer is not a Ballon d'Or winner, if that helps. Fellas, that's a lot of yapping. Firms, I need an answer. In the form of a question. In form of a question, Ask Varvar, you, Varvar, we get it. <laughs> and I'll be here to collect the money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, who is Luis Figo? Firms, he was up there, but it was not Luis Figo. Varvar, you have a chance to steal. Tough. The bank request And 300. you see, I'm already at minus $400. <laughs> So you. I could be a minus 700 past this. Hmm. And you just... But honestly, I'm kind of confident in this answer. Okay. And he's not a Ballon d'Or. He's Ballon not a Ballon d'Or winner. Jeez. I'm going to go, who is David Beckham? Varvar, your hot streak is going to get even hotter because you just lost another 300. It was not David Beckham. Pala, you could steal. I'm putting up a disaster class. I love to see Varvar lose more than I see myself like to win. Oh no. But I do have that's an answer. That's some real hater shit right there, bro. <laughs> bro that's, that's, that's some real hater shit bro, right there. Bro, put on there. the hater goggles Listen, on. brother. Not only do I... This is... It's gonna be bad if I lose. If I get this wrong. Is this Zinedine Zidane? Pala Zinedine Zidane was bought by Real Madrid for 73 and a half oh, million euros. He is the most expensive. You just stole 300 that's points. Okay, how did I say David Beckham? Yeah, well, yeah, I don't know what, yeah, I don't know. what that, like, I don't know what Manchester was happening. United there. bias. The, the brother was bought for 37 and a half million. Low key, that's a steal. Might be dusty. David was, Beckham underrated. David Beckham. Yeah, he's underrated. I met him in real life. Quite Is that the only reason why he's underrated? But no, that guy had a, that guy was the back then. That's if you take KDB and put him back then. Did he smell good? Uh, I don't know. I didn't really like get a good scent of him. <laughs> Were you nervous of it? Oh, for sure. Yeah. My testicles went a bit in. <laughs> Did you see Victoria? No. Sadly. Then your testicles went around. <laughs> <laughs> My balls. Paula, the ball is back in your court. <laughs> <laughs> the balls are back in your court. <laughs> Paula, the ball is back in your court. You get to pick the category. Melly, I still feel like talking about Madrid, but an easy one. I'm going to take Madrid 100, please. And by the way, the remontada is on minus 700. I think I'm going to finish on plus 700 at the end of the episode. Statistically, it's getting close to you not even having a chance. <laughs> Pala, here's Madrid for 100. 
Who is the Spaniard with the most appearances for Real Madrid? I feel like... Uh, Just think of it as... I feel like it's an easy answer. I think it's Casillas. But I was, gonna, I was thinking Sergio Ramos as well, but I'm going to go with Casillas. Okay. Who is Casillas? Okay, that's it. Pala, 100s are supposed to be a layup. It is not Casillas. Firms, you could steal. Guy what? Even, guy even what? said it with it. Casillas. And he said 100 is supposed to be a layup. Well, that it's a one out of two, practically. I said both answers. Mm, we'll see. Firms, it's up to you. You could defer it, though. Listen, I'm just going to say, who is Sergio Ramos? Firms, it is not Sergio Ramos. Varver could steal this 100. The remontada is on. I told you guys. Who is Raul? Oh. Varvar is back in the game with the 100. Raul is the correct answer. Pick the next category. I just know the off the pitch 300. I'm not going to get right. So I'm not even going to bother. But you need money. Yeah, I need money. So Take give Madrid me, 200. Give me Madrid 200. Varvar, here is Madrid for 200. Known as the Decima Tercera, the 13th Champions League won by Real Madrid. Who did they face in that Champions League final? 10th was Atletico Madrid in 2014. Now we work after that. So let's do the math. So, 10th, Add by it would be the whatever. last Ronaldo. It would be the last Ronaldo Champions League, I believe. So who is Liverpool? Varvar for 200. Liverpool is the correct answer. You got it. That's 200 in the bank. Liverpool, I hate you guys, but you guys did come in clutch and help me with this one. With this question. I mean, still you still got to pay the bank, though. You're still in debt. Yeah, I'm still in debt, but... We're working our way back. Varvar, with the 200 taken, we have activated the next mini game. This is guess the player. Whoever names the player first gets the 400 points. Let's get it, Millie. Show us the clubs. The first two clubs of this player is PSV and Harravine. This is yes. taking me back, man. Taking me back to the PSV days. PSV and Harravine. There's only one player I know that's played for Harravine, but he did not play so at you PSV. Say it. Oh, <laughs> he didn't play at PSV, so I'm not gonna. It's probably a Dutch mm. player. We all want another team. Let's give, let's get another team, Millie. The next club I'll give you is Ajax. Ajax, oh, this brother, PSV and Harry, this brother did the, the, the whole- The derby. Told this brother all. is probably hated in that country. He is the anti totti He's the anti totti yeah. he's been everywhere. <laughs> this brother's probably hated in the Netherlands. PSV. Boys, do you need the next club? Who's played for Ajax, PSV and Harry? Good question. Dutch players. If I you mean, get it right, it's 400. You get it wrong, you're right. It's minus four. Yeah, if you get it wrong, you're losing 400. Bobber, I think I'm just going to zone out on this one. Bobber, you shouldn't, you shouldn't open that Yappuccino of yours just yet. <laughs> Millie, I think we're going to need another club. The next club, Real Madrid. Ajax to Real Madrid. This doesn't help me. This is in order, boys. So he went from PSV, Harravine, Ajax, Real Madrid. What? I have a feeling there's a long career ahead of this, man. I feel like there's a lot of clubs. It's just the beginning for him? No. There's another big move in here. I have a hint though. I have a... He has an inkling. Can you... you. Can you... you. you. <laughs> okay, let's get another club. Let's get another club. The next club is AC Milan. Oh, that um, changed everything. Is that who... I don't oh, want to say it. Oh, Boys, you have to be sure about this. Uh, that's why I don't, I don't want to say it. It's uh, Van Basten. Firms, you want to lock in that answer? Well, it's... <laughs> yes, yes I do. Oh, wait, wait, you have to say the answer in the form of a question. Who is Van Basten? Okay, that's wrong. What? For he played Van for both clubs, though, no? Yes, but you brought all five of them. That's wrong. <laughs> that's Van Basten only played for three clubs in his, in, in his life, I think, or maybe even two. Only me? I'm going to say something to the... Actually, no, you know what? I'll, I'll continue with now Barbara. It's only me and, now it's I'll only continue. me and Bala. Tough. We might just both lose this one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a guess. I can me give, too. There's one more club, but that it'll really give it away. Well, then it's just the first to... Uh, First to the finish. First to the finish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my chances. Go. Barbara's usually a quicker finisher, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me this episode. <laughs> Boys, the next club is Schalke. That's supposed to help. Who is Klaas Jan Huntelaar? Is oh it that God. or not? Is it that or not? Barbar, it is correct. It is Huntelaar. You get 400. What a dusty Minus player, bro. Minus 200 now. I'm, that was good, I'm coming bro. back. That was a good question. What a dusty, dusty player.
Boys, Varvar is back in the game. Varvar, pick the next category. And, and you know, as I was saying, Class Jan, and then I, <laughs> I froze for a second. I'm like, am I really about to say Huntelar? I had to think about it. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. So uh, I'm going to go for Brazilians in Russia for 200. Varvar, here's Brazilians in Russia for 200. With a short stint in Milan, this player's move to China failed, and eventually he made his way to Moscow. Bantera? Bantera Milan? Mm. Did I just give you the answer? I don't know if this is good. I don't know if this answer is right, though. And I don't know if this player would be a 200 level player, so it's kind of making me doubt. Ooh. You think, it's, you think this is a harder question? But the issue is that I know your 200s are easy, Millie, so I don't know why a player like Luis Adriano would come up in a 200 level. Boys, what do we think of that answer? We need who is. We need the who is. No, but I didn't lock in my answer yet. You should. Guess you're just yapping. Oh, this is a monster. This is a grande Yappuccino right here. But that is a Luis Adriano. This is a venti. He did go to AC Milan on a short stint, fail. He was there, yeah. And go back. I don't know about Luis Adriano like that, so. I don't know why, but it keeps bringing me back to this answer. I'm going to go, who is Luis Adriano? Varvar, the remontada is on. Luis Adriano is the correct answer. You are in the game. Take this guy shot. stank. Do you have he money now? Oh, I got money. You now. officially have money. $200. $200, $200 in the welcome, green. Welcome to the team. Now, uh, yeah. who do I pick now? I can finish off Brazilians in Russia activating another. I'm going to go finish off Brazilians in Russia for 100 So we're not... So we're scared of the 300s. We're scared. Think? Yeah, we're very scared. Okay. Varvar, here's Brazilians in Russia for 100 after flopping in Spain, this player made a name for himself in St. Petersburg. After flopping in Spain, this player made his name for himself in St. Petersburg. Ah, uh, yeah. I think we got a 10 second countdown on this one. Like, it is I don't want to say an obvious answer, but I don't even know if this brother played in Spain. Who is Hulk? Varvar, the lights are a little too bright right now. That is the incorrect answer. Pala, you could steal or defer. Melly, I'm gonna be rude with you. There's a mini, there's a mini game coming up. I'm not trying to lose any money going oh into it. <laughs> I'm gonna defer this one. This was a 100 level question. Oh, I, I could think about it, but Firm seemed confident in his answer. I don't know, now I'm overthinking about it. Oh, brother. But this guy might have played in Barcelona and was a big flop. Who is Malcolm? Firms. You're cooking. Malcolm is the correct answer. That's $100 for you. He made Welcome his back. he Give made his mind. name before he played at Zenit. I mean, brother was stinky at brother, Barcelona. He cost yes. how much? Seventy mil? Forty. Okay. And now they made their money back, back though. They sold him back to St. Petersburg. For and now he's Neymar's uh, Neymar's lap dog, no? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He was he supposed to be in the next Neymar, no? Yeah. Like, but now he's playing on the other wing. He's playing right wing, and Neymar he left. Rejected wing. Roma. Remember that? Good times. The mini game is activated. Firms got the last question right, so he's gonna be leading this one. It is a 1v1 showdown, so Firms, you could pick your opponent out of the two. Please, Varvar, I'll pick you. Thank you. All right, it is a 1v1 showdown between Firms and Varvar. Boys, here's the question. Playing most of his career for CSKA Moscow, this Brazilian-born player plays for the Russian national team without actually speaking any Russian. So it's a Qatar situation. Firms, I'll give is you... That Qatar situation? I know the answer, so I'll give you 10 seconds to find the answer. Why do you give me 10 seconds? Who are I, you to say I that? I just feel like you you deserve 10 seconds. You Barbara, see, Paola, who's this? Paola's on some professional hater shit. You, you actually want to see me win sometimes, so I'm going to see... I'm going to let you win. I'm going to give you a chance to win, you know? The thing, thing is, I saw this somewhere. Yeah? How, where was it? Some would say he's a CSK in Moscow legend. Yeah. It's also pretty... I, I mean, it's not... It's not much of a stretch. The question is kind of deceiving, though, because... Uh, He's also played at Gremio Firms. He might not actually be... Help me. Brazilian. <laughs> I know the answer. Uh, who you is Mario it? Fernandez? He has to say first? What is this? I didn't I know this was the game. See, so, that out. Firm, so what happened to you is... So you just got lied to, because Varvar, even if you got the answer, Varvar was still going to say it before you. So he wasn't actually giving you 10 seconds of grace. I gave him way more he than He was just seconds. trying to flex. So I didn't know this was the game. I didn't know it was... played. Damn. Varvar with the little bait and switch there. I cannot believe it. Firms, you will get your revenge soon. But Mario Fernandez is the right answer. Varvar, that's 400. Firms, that's minus 400. They don't want to see me win. It's been too long since we've seen a Varvar win on this channel. 
We should keep it that way. Where we don't see that. I'm pulling out my Cholo Simeone tactics. See, Dirty he's, tactics. He's not even. He hasn't even won a game yet, and he's just cocky. So imagine if he actually is a winner. It's like Man United. Firms got no, minus 400. Oof. That's a tough pill to swallow, there, Firms. At least I know I, I, I go out with honor. That's for sure. You knew the answer. I knew I'm, the answer. I'm playing with honor. Well, we don't. Though. We don't know if he knew the answer. <laughs> yeah. It was on the tip that of my was tongue. Speculative, but I'm gonna go for off the pitch 300. Here is off the pitch for 300. This player played for the team that he ended up buying. A couple of players did that. I mean, I'm a gonna, couple of them. So name what? Yeah, name one. No, because you're up next. Explain it. Explain, 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 explain it, big man. man. This is actually only done by him. Only done by him. So not a couple of players did this. <laughs> so he's a major owner. He's not just a partial owner. No, he's, he's a partial owner. Mm, did, Ryan, did Ryan Reynolds ever play for Wrexham? <laughs> Made an appearance here and there. Unfortunately, he does not. LeBron James, Liverpool and legend. And Ben Foster doesn't... What never about uh, Spencer for uh, Hashtag United? Does that Is that a final answer? Who is Spencer from Hashtag United? For real? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. That's wrong. Yeah, but hit? technically it's right. Okay, I played for my Sunday league team. And now I'm an old and your team ended up becoming a professional team. Well, mine is professional. It's professionally <laughs> garage league. It's professionally amateur. Professionally good. <laughs> professionally shit. Paolo, will you defer? I'm going to defer, but I have a good idea as to what nationality he is. Mm. Firms, it's on you. You don't have to answer it, though. But you're in the negative, so you kind of have to answer it. Yeah, this is uh, what makes me. Want you either die. You either. What do they say? You either live long, in, die, a, die hero, a hero, or live as a. Uh, live live long, long enough, enough to see yourself, see yourself as a there villain. You my go. last four brain cells trying to figure something. <laughs> <laughs> That's my middle name. <laughs> last last four brain cells. It's, it's up to you, firms. Did R nine play at Real Valladolid? Who is R nine? From that look, I know it's a no. Firms. It's not R nine, brother. It's not our nine, brother. Who was it? Paolo, take a guess. Who was your guess? You have an Is idea? he English? No. Okay, I'm out. Fabregas. <laughs> no, Didier Drogba. Who did he buy? Phoenix Rising. Oh, he bought them? Phoenix Rising. Oh. oh, you know what? That, come on. That's, that's, that's bad tough. on us. That's that, bad on us. Come on. on us? We should have known that. We, we, we know this. the dawn, brother. Yeah, I know DJ Drogba, Phoenix Rising. I have not heard of Phoenix Rising before. He play, He is the first player in history to be a player and an owner. At the, the same club. time? At the same time. That's nuts. That's crazy. Imagine the power Imagine you your have. teammate. He doesn't pass you. Oh, yeah? You're fired. Get out. <laughs> the manager? No, get out. <laughs> a Prem Dawn, but unfortunately, Varvar and Firms lose points on that. Pala, it's on you. Well, um, so I'm trying to look around here. And it's uh, only off the pitch 100, so I guess I'll take it. Pala, here is off the pitch for 100. Wales, golf, Madrid, in that order. Oh my God. Why can't I get these questions? What is, is it, this? Is it a cool question? Is it? Um, it's a 100. I can't even think of an answer that's wrong. <laughs> Who is Gareth Bale? Pala, that is correct. That's another 100 into the bank. <laughs> the money call. <laughs> oh my God, brother. All right, boys, we are down to the last 400. This is transfer value. I'm going to give you three players, and you have to put them in order how much they're worth. Damn. This is it, boys. I'm about You're to pop my dub. I'm getting buckled up, schmuckled God up. Damn. Boys, what are the transfer values of these three players slash musicians? De Gea, Keen, or Depay? Slash musicians. <laughs> <laughs> They're the all three musicians. Just added that. The is question. not a musician. Oh yeah, he actually did. He release a song. Yeah, the brother likes to play instruments, bro. For real, he's playing more instruments now than soccer games. Yeah, so. he doesn't like to play. Who do, you want, who do you guys want to put at number three? It's based no, no, on. We, we're all separate here, brother. Yeah. Who do you think is the least valuable out of these three? Three, two, one. De Gea. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we all have the same three. Nice, boys. Give me your number two. You guys have your answers? I have my answer. I've, I've had my answer since the start, to be honest. For real. This is crazy. I hope I'm saying the same one as you. Three, two, one. Moise the pie. You said the pie? I got yeah. the pie, the pie. So Firms and Varvar have the pie second. Am I correct? Yeah. Right. 100%. So boys, say your number ones. 
Moise Keen. Moise Keen. The pie. The picks are locked in. Pala. Unfortunately, Oof. Keen is number one. The pie is number two. That means Varvar and Firms actually got both of them right. God. Give me my money. Oh my God. I don't even get money because I'm still in the negatives. Damn. Boys, the board is done. Varvar, you have won. Next week, when we have to say because Varvar won the last episode, that's going to be the best intro of all time. Obviously, I have the highest ball knowledge. Obviously, I won. It's gonna, I think it's going to be his first time ever winning. Yeah. First feeling. R respect, respect, respect. Boys, that was a roller coaster. And to you, the viewer, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support means the world to us. See you next week.